Hey, how are you? It's Alan here from Irish Web Solutions and I want to talk about jobs to be done. This video isn't for anybody. It's really just for me so that I can understand what I have learned about jobs to be done. So if you are watching this video and you want more information, the best place to go to is jobstobedone.org. There's lots of videos and there are lots of information um, and it's a really interesting framework. Now, I have got my own agile process running I think I'll show a screenshot of it here on the screen of my own agile process running. Now, I am looking at jobs to be done because I'm follow, I'm reading Ed Dale's new book. It's called Your First Dollar. It's about internet marketing to a large extent, but it, he talks a lot about the agile process, setting up an agile board, and one of the, the three things you want you want to look at with internet marketing is pains, gains, and jobs to be done. Now, pains and gains are very straightforward. I knew what he was talking about straight away. It's, you know, if someone's on a message board and they're saying, oh, I have this problem, that's their pain. Fine, write that down, write that down. Find out, you know, 10, 15, 20 pains. The project I'm doing, I've got about 35 pains. <laughs> it's a specific project that lends itself to pains, so there's a lot of pain out there. Um, and the gains is, you know, things that people are really liking or the good thing they want to move towards. And the project I'm doing, I got about 15. It's not, it's more of the pains and the things. So, but the jobs to be done was difficult. I didn't understand why you meant to be job, by jobs to be done. And, and in an internet search, I found this website, jobs to be done.org. Now, from my research in jobs to be done.org, I get an idea of what it is and what it's talking about. So, jobs to be done is a framework. It's actually very interesting. It fits in with Agile really well, which is great. So, jobs to be done is basically a framework which is talking about looking at why people buy things and their process of why they decide to buy something. And it's specifically for if someone is buying something new. So, if someone buys the same thing every single week, in general, they're not thinking about it. They're not making a decision. It's just something they do out of habit. But if they buy something new or change what they buy or, you know, you, you've been using tr public transport for a number of years and then you're going to buy a car or a motorbike, there's a whole top process that goes through that. Um, and it could be something as simple as the, the example that they give for jobs to be done. Well, there's two examples. Is the press professor from Harvard gives a example of the milkshake which is very interesting i might go through that in a second you're hiring a milkshake to do a specific job for you um and there's another one there's another video there where they talk about um jobs to be done they talk about what was it um well let me talk about the milkshake the other one will come back to me in a second so i'll uh, just take a quick look at my notes if that's okay <laughs> So people are hiring a product for a specific, specific job to be done. So they, let's say with the milkshake, um, no, someone's driving to work. And it was this company, you sold, sold milkshakes, probably like a fast food place or something, they sold milkshakes and they noticed that they were selling all, you know, 56% of their milkshakes in the first thing in the morning. And they didn't know why. And they wanted to sell more milkshakes. So they wanted to find out why people were buying the milkshakes. So this goes, if you go to the website, it goes into really detail. But I'm just going to cut it right down to the, to the, um, to the core. So when they did the interviews with the jobs we done process, now they did a number of different things for us. But then they took the jobs we done process and seen what job was this milkshake doing for you that you bought at first thing in the morning. And a lot of people were going to work. They were hungry. Maybe they skipped breakfast. They needed to fill themselves up. They weren't going to be able to eat anything until lunchtime. They were going to be working in an office or wherever they happened to be. And they were in their car and they had a long commute. So they would buy this chunky milkshake. It fit, it fit it in their cup holder. And they could drink it on the way to work. It also broke down the commute a little bit. They were bored in the commute. So having this drink that they would have all the way in. Filled in the job for them of give me something to kill my boredom while I'm driving to work. It also done the job for them of keep me full until lunchtime. I want to be full until lunchtime. Um, and I don't want, you know, I want to be able to concentrate and I'm working, I need to be able to concentrate, I don't want to be hungry and my stomach rumbling. 
uh, you know, maybe they skip breakfast or whatever, but it's filling that job of give me something, fill me up until lunchtime and give me something to do during the commute. So they're the two jobs that they wanted to do. Now, they were, that had to be done. And the thing that I found really interesting about this was, as far as the agile methodology was, so actually let me take, I've got a few notes here, let me just take you through some of the um, jobs to be done. So a job to be done can, can be make my wife feel a bit better. I make my wife a little bit better disposed towards me or happy towards me. So um, the product that would fill in that job would be buy flowers, buy a ring, buy a holiday, buy a weekend away, whatever it happens to be. So they're buying that product to hire that product for the specific job, make my wife a little bit happier. Um, there might be a job make me look successful. And that job would be buy a nice, you know, they might be hiring a nice car. They're not hiring the car, they're buying the car, but the pro, the purpose of the car is to make them look more successful. That's the job they're hiring it for. Um, or they might be, you know, buying a new suit. Um, so so they're, they're, they're giving that new suit the job of making me look more successful. That's why they're buying the suits. Um, keep my kids happy. Keep my kids happy might be a job to be done. Um, or keep my, keep my connection with my kids. I'm going through the divorce and I need to keep the connection with my kids. So that might be hire a good solicitor. So it's getting a good solicitor, but the job for that solicitor is to keep is the connection with his kids. Or it might be go to Disneyland or it might be even go to McDonald's or whatever. But the point is they're, they're hiring that product to for the job of, the job to be done is to keep the connection with their kids. Um. And then the one they give, the example they give is a um, just a, a pizza place. Keep my, you know, I'm coming home from work and I need to feed all my kids really quickly and I don't have a lot of time. Um, that's the job to be done. And the, the answer is a pizza place, a McDonald's, a burger joint, whatever, you know. Um, so the story of the milkshake company, yeah. So you're looking at the important things, you're looking at motivations rather than um, demographics. So the way, way people would have done in the past would have put, made a persona, the demographics. I mean, it's the, we need to appeal to uh, women who are between 25 and 30 and have this amount of money to spend. And we need to appeal to those kind of people. Whereas you wouldn't, you're not looking at demographics so much because the person doesn't matter. It's the only the motivation that matters. So you're looking at. So that's where it comes into agile because. There's, in Agile, there's a thing called user stories. Now, anyone who knows Agile will understand what user stories is. And the user stories in the format as a being, I need to, being, so that I can. So you would say, looking at the example that I gave a few minutes ago, as a 25-year-old woman with 50 grand a year, I need a new car so that I can be in comfort and look successful. Um, that could be a user story in the in the Agile, not the old Agile, Agile is very current, but in the Agile methodology, that would be a, um, a user story. Now, with jobs to be done, you don't use user stories. Um, they're called job stories. They, they call them job stories. So instead of a user story, you would have a job story. And job story is a the format when I I want to so I can so when I get to the motivation so uh, something really simple is uh, when I have only two minutes and I feel hungry I want to grab something that will be quick so that I can be full until dinner so that's just a, an idea of a, of a job story and these job stories can be used instead of user stories and anyone who knows that agile or marketing I think they're probably gonna know you user stories are so it's um but the, the, the jobs to be done is an, a very interesting, you know, Ed Dale pointed me in this direction, but he didn't give a lot of information about it. And it's probably one of his programs, I just don't know what program it's in, so I just did my own research. Um, and jobs to be done in August, great. Um, is there anything else I want to say? But yeah, they go into details, you know, it's about forces, you know, there's a push and a pull force, so it's a push force of someone who wants to get something done, and there's a pull force from the company who wants to create, add great features but there's no point in adding the great features in, in the pull until you understand what the push forces are what what are the people's motivations in order to and then you can build the right correct features that fit their motivations and it might not be the fe features that fit just their, their demographic but it might be their motivations because someone who someone who goes to domino's pizza 
there's a whole range of demographics in there, but the motivations of why they go are either are probably pretty similar or there might be three or four different categories of motivations why they go. Like for instance, one of the motivations is when I am working when I have a team working late in an office, I want to order ten pizzas so I can keep them filled and they keep working. And you know, someone else's motivation is when I um uh, when I have a kid's party, I want to order 10 pizzas so that everyone's full and we don't have to worry about cleaning up or, you know, we can try to paper and put a box in the bin. Um, so, and uh, there, there's a timeline. I'm not going to get too much. And this is more videos of what the jobs we done do. There's, there's a timeline or about, you know, how people buy buy stuff. So initially they are, um, initially they're probably not interested at all. And then it goes on a, a kind of timeline of passive, passively looking, passively interested. So they're interested, but not really looking around really. There's event one, event two in the lives. You want to find out what those events are. And then they're actively looking and then they're buying. So there's a process there of when people are buying. Um, and it fits in with internet marketing. It fits in with the internet because um, you can look at that process, uh, you know, maybe AdWords is a good time when they're when someone's actively looking, but maybe Facebook when someone's passively looking, maybe Facebook, maybe you, that's when you want to get them into an email list that you can keep emailing to them when they're passively looking, or maybe when event one event two happens, maybe you can find out when those events are, even if they're events that don't make them buy necessarily, but they push them towards that kind of funnel where they're they're going to want to buy. So maybe you want to look at those events in people's lives, like you know maybe this event like getting married or having kids or. You know, maybe people want to buy a car after they um, have kids. They want to look at a seven-seater. They have a certain amount of kids, I guess. Um, or they want to look at safer cars. Or they're looking at different things in cars, possibly. I know when I had my first child, um, I used to drive quite fast. <laughs> and after I had my first child, I was driving home from the hospital. as the slowest I ever drove in my life. And I was delighted. I was, um, it was great. I was loving driving slow. <laughs> There's a little baby in the car. Um, so events change people and they, they change things in their lives. So they're, looking at these events can be quite important as far as marketing is concerned. If you have a very specific product, uh, maybe when people get married, they do certain things. Or maybe, you know, when they hit a certain age group. Or, but you have to work out what these events are. It's different for everybody, you know. And there's some information there about the Cato quality model. It's just that over time things that are, things that are exciting in a product they over time they move to be just being expected in, in a product over time like for example when the first iPhone came out and um, a phone with video on it was a very very exciting thing but now it's really just ex ex expected that you would have a phone that has video on it. so it's just that that's it that's not that important and the, the important thing about the jobs to be done is people are looking for a job done so the most important thing is when some and this is this this describes it the best way. When someone is looking, buying a drill, they're not looking for the drill. They're hiring, they're, 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 the job to be done is a hole in the wall. They want the number of holes in the wall. And that's what they want from the drill. They don't want the drill. Um, although they might be very happy with certain features in the drill, but what they're looking for at the end of the day is to have a better hole in the wall. Um, or maybe they're, maybe that's not what they're looking for. Maybe, maybe they're looking to be the person who's known to have really good tools and, and get things done as well. So you need to take a look at what what the, the job to be done for the, the drill is, you know, but is it make, just to make them to look good? Is it to, um, is it for them to have the hole in the wall? So they, you, you've got to work that out it's, for your own market. Like it's going to be different for every single market. So the, the biggest thing I could take out of it for jobs to be done is I love the job stories. I've used user stories uh, in the past, but I, but I can see how job stories are much better fit for what you want there because you're getting the motivations so jobs as far as the agile process the job stories probably fit much better as far as the agile process is concerned if you're using it not personal agile because you don't you use job stories for your own personal tasks maybe you do but i don't use job stories for my own personal tasks but um it's great for company tasks the job stories that you can get into people's heads particularly for mar particularly for marketing so that's just what I want to say about jobs to be done. It's a framework for understanding why people are buying products, the motivations behind why people are buying products. Um, and 
part of the process of marketing, and this is the last thing I'll say, this, this video's probably gone on a lot longer than I wanted to, but the last thing I'll say is the part of the internet marketing process is you want to find out why people are buying things. And the way you do that, and I got this from Ed Dale, just want to be fair to him, this is where I got the information from, for the most part, it's in lots of different places, but Ed Dale is the person I was looking at most as far as this information is concerned. The jobs that do, when you're doing internet marketing, you want to take it to a certain place you want to take a look at, just Facebook groups, where people are talking about why they're doing things, what they're angry about, what pissed them off, all that kind of stuff. Facebook groups, um, forums, boards today is a great one in Ireland, it's the one we use in Ireland, boards today. Uh, so there's Facebook groups, there's forums, there's um, reviews of products or reviews of books, particularly Amazon, it's great reviews. People will say what frustrated them, what they liked, that kind of thing. Um, so you, these are great places to find the jobs we've done, to find the, the jobs that people want done. And Quora, I, no one's mentioned Quora to me before, but I find Quora quite good personally um, as well. This is a place where people are just writing and talking about their thoughts and you get really honest opinion because they're not getting paid to, to, to write this stuff. It's just things that they really found frustrating or things that they really enjoyed and are things that they need to things they would like to get sorted out so as far as starting a business is concerned you can get really good information here about how to improve things how to how to improve a product how to offer a better product how to do better marketing because the product might be exactly the same like for example um it might be just around the marketing that you position a product in a different way that the people are happier to buy it and it's uh so there are places that you can go and you can take a look at what jobs people have to be done um from those places so i don't, don't want to go any further than that that's that's um this has gone on this video's probably gone on longer than i wanted to so this has been alan here from irish Web solutions my number is 01 51 551 51 and i'm just taking a look at the process the jobs to be done process as far as um or what the framework is i just wanted to explain it so i got it right in my own mind this is alan from irish web solutions